Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to look up and return multiple values in one cell. So my scenario is a book club, and I have the books that have been read by our book club members. Over here, I want to list in one cell every book title that has been read by each of these members. This solution will work in Excel 365 and Excel 2016, but there is a slight difference between the solutions. If you have a version of Excel prior to Excel 2016, then I'm afraid this solution won't work at all. Let's start with the Excel 365 solution. We're not going to use a lookup function at all. We are in fact going to use the if function. I'm going to say, in my logical test, do the values in column A, which I need to fix, because I'm going to be copying this formula down, equal the book club member in column D. Now, if I select that logical test and I press F9 on my keyboard, you can see that that will return multiple true and false results. True if the member is Barbara in column A and false if it isn't. I'll just undo that F9 effect. Now, wherever this logical test has returned true, I want it to return the title red in column B. So my value of true will be B4 to B20, which I also need to fix. So if I F9 this if statement as it is, you will see that wherever Barbara is found in column A, it returns the book title in column B. Otherwise, it returns false. Just undo the effect of F9. Now, I don't want to return false if Barbara is not found in column A. I want to return an empty text string. So my value of false is an empty text string. Two speech marks with nothing in between. I'll close the bracket and now you'll see that if I do my F9 trick, instead of returning false, the if statement returns an empty text string. I'm gonna undo the effect of F9 and press enter. In Excel 365, if your formula is returning multiple results, it spills the results into surrounding cells. This is one of the differences between Excel 365 and Excel 2016. We don't want the results in separate cells. We want all the results in the same cell. And this is where we can use the text join function. If I double click in my original cell, I'm going to put the if function within the text join function. Now text join is going to join all of these values together as if it was concatenating them. The first argument in the text join function is delimiter. In other words, what character do you want to separate all these values with? Do you want it to be a space, a comma, or a semicolon? We'll say, it's a semicolon and a space. And I have to put that delimiter in those quotation marks, comma. Now the next argument is ignore empty. So in other words, what do we want to do with these empty results? The results where we've returned a empty text string for our value of false. Well, if I say false, let's see what happens. I'll double click on false, put a comma in, and then I'll close the text join function with a bracket at the end of the formula. Press enter, and you can see that it returns a semicolon in between each of these empty text strings. Well, I wouldn't want that. So I'm gonna go back and say true. Now, if I press enter, instead of returning the empty text strings, it ignores them. And I have a list of books that Barbara has read. If I copy this down, do the same thing for the other book club members. Now, some of you may have noticed that Barbara, for example, has read How to Win Friends and Influence People several times. She obviously really loved that book. If we only wanted to return each book title once, then that is easily achieved by using the unique function. So I'm gonna go back into my original formula and what I need to do is surround the if function with the unique function. And I'll close the unique function bracket after the if, and then press enter. If I copy this down, 
and it now returns each book title once within each of these lists. How do we do the same thing in Excel 2016? And it is, in fact, exactly the same formula. So I start with text join. My delimiter is a semicolon and a space. I want to ignore empty cells. And then my text one argument is the if function. And I'm going to say, do the values in column A, which I need to fix, equal our book club member. If true, I want to return the book title, which I need to fix. If not, I want to return an empty text string. I close the bracket twice, but here's the difference between the two versions of Excel. In Excel 2016, you have to use Control Shift Enter to return an array of results. What you'll notice is that when you use Control Shift Enter, you end up with curly brackets around your formula. If I copy this formula down, it works for all the members of the book club. Unfortunately, the unique function is not available in Excel 2016, so we are unable to remove the duplicate book titles. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully it's been useful. If it has, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.